Welcome back, we're with Texas All Water Fishing and I am fishing again with Captain Charles. We were in the kayaks and be targeting some trout. Okay, last, yesterday we had a lot of sun and now this area out here is very muddy, very, very soft mud. And that's gonna hold uh, a lot of warmth and that warmth is gonna bring in the bait and it's gonna bring in the fish. And that's kind of what we're hoping for. This morning it's, it's very cold. It's about, it's in the 30s and almost 40. So I'm thinking overnight, a lot of fish might have come in this area. Right now we're experiencing tide that is going out. It is almost low tide. That tide's gonna turn around and kick back in midday. So I'm hoping that we're gonna get on the fish like we did last time. The water being warmer and around the muddy and oyster area is really gonna bring them into this, to this location. So wish me luck, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Like they're diving on some small, small glass minnow, maybe shad. Not seen any any predator fish blowing up on them. Nobody hitting on the surface yet over here. Uh, there's bait here though. Birds working. Kind of scan and and look and watch the water surface to see if you see any blubs like right there there was a little little tail whip right there a little bubble a little boil bubbles came up off that boil there's fish underneath there it could be mullet it could be a predator fish chasing mullet it could be anything yep that was a fish let's see let's see let's see you know what what i'm gonna do i'm going to go with different lure change this up a little bit they're hitting what looked like they were hitting like small baby little shad so maybe they'll hit this little voodoo shad let's see oh, yep came up again that is a trout looks like it There we go. He hit it as soon as I stopped swimming it and it fell. And it uh it fell to the bottom. And he hit it as soon as I stopped. I looked around because I was looking for birds and it fell right by the kayak and, and this guy just uh just nailed it. So I appreciate that. Thank you. It's a nice trap though. It's a big one. I can see him coming up and splashing, coming up and splashing. And earlier when I was watching the birds, they were they were diving and it looked like they were picking up little small shrimp. So I mean not small shrimp, little small fish. So I was just thinking maybe it's it's shad. So put this started fishing with this voodoo shad and it's like maybe my third cast fishing with it. And he nailed it. So that's that's great. That's outstanding. It's a nice fish. I'm gonna get him up here. Take a look at him. Yeah, nice big old trout. Look at this guy here. All right, all right. Nice, healthy guy. Look how thick he is. Big, thick guy. He's not long, but he's thick. So he felt pretty good. He felt really heavy. And he's going to be 18 and a half. There we go. Nice guy. Outstanding guy. Bird behind me working? Nope. Every time I look behind me, one bites. <laughs> and he just fish looking behind me. Bring this guy up here. 
Come on. Come on, don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Yeah. They don't want that guy to get off. Another another one. About the same size it looks like. I'm gonna get him up and yeah, same. Same bait. Put him on that voodoo shed. The voodoo shed has worked great for me over the years. Inger baits voodoo, man. They're they're these are so durable, and in my mind, such a legit bait. They have great movement. Like I said, they're durable. Um, some have rattles in them. Some don't. Whether it's the the shads or the the shrimp voodoo shrimp some have rattles some don't but i don't know if this one does this is one of the smaller ones it might not let's put him on the board and he is just at 18 inches so a little smaller a little shorter than the other one but still nice yellow mouth he's thick too so they're either eating good so but, uh, him that time he dumped it and he came back for it so we got him oh that's a good one it looks like he's barely hooked on the outside of his mouth try to get him get him in here there we go yeah Woo! it has been a minute yeah got that anchor bait wedge tail texas friendly jig head this day Nice fish, nice trout. Nice big guy right here. He's nice. Nice guy. It is a fish. <laughs> I backlashed and threw it right on top of a fish. How funny is that? Oh, it's a flounder too. Oh my gosh. That is crazy, crazy. That's a big one. I didn't even set my hook on it yet. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! I'd rather be lucky than good. That is a nice big one right there. Boom yeah. Boo yeah. Oh my captain put me on fish. That's all that is. This is my captain put me on fish. Look at this big guy. Let's see where he's gonna be at. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a nice one too. Oh, huh? this is be good. Almost 20. Oh 18 and a half. 18 and three quarters. Just about. Nice one. That's fun. Oh, my God. 
Well, everybody, that's going to do it. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Charles, Captain Charles, Dirty Bay Fishing. You know, we came out and we knew we were going to have good conditions. And this morning, you know, as you saw, it started on fire. I'm trying to turn. Anyway, you can see we got a real nice stringer there. Little community stringer. Well, it was just one of those things. You know, we came out today and we knew... We're gonna have favorable conditions. The sun was gonna be warm. The sun was warm yesterday. So the mud flats, the oyster reefs, all that, all that area was gonna be really, really warm and, and hold some warmth from yesterday. And it just did it did just that. We tore them up, we got them on our got on them early, and then after that, the bite just like just turned off. Complete total shut off. So but it's all good, you know. We caught our limit and a bonus flounder. So if you want to fish with Captain Charles, check him out. His information is down below in the description section. And don't forget to don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to Dirty Bay Fishing. Subscribe to Texas All Water Fishing. Like, comment, share. Until next time, hopefully catch me hooking up.